Alright guys, welcome to another lesson. This is uh, arithmetic, page 241 and 242. So this is review, skill drawings review. <clears throat> so nothing new to teach. But I just want to go over it real quick in case you have any confusion. So for this problem here, it says find the distance of the following. So same thing as our last <coughs> assignment. We're just measuring the distance between these locations. So even though we're measuring in inches, Remember, one inch represents one mile, okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's do one of these problems. So the first one is insurance company to the furniture store. So here's insurance company to the, infer to the furniture store. So you're measuring this distance here. So if you took your ruler and you measure it, measure it, you would get one and a half inch. But already, is the distance between the insurance company and the furniture store one and a half inches? Nope. It's miles, right? So make sure you write miles as your units of measure. Okay, don't write inches. And I would recommend that you write down the measurements on each side, especially for uh, the next question, shopping center to church, right? So the shopping center from here to the church down here. So that means you would need to add up the measurements here from the shopping center to the stone supermarket and the distance between the supermarket to the church here. So you would add up these um, two values, wherever they are. Okay, so that'll give you the distance in miles. So that's about it for number one. For number two, you're just making your own scale map. Just make sure that, you know, when you do it, don't just make all whole inches, okay? Don't just do one mile and then, you know, two miles. All right, try to get some quarter <clears throat> quarter miles or half miles in there too, okay? So maybe like, you know, three and uh, one fourth of a mile, okay? And make sure you label it too, okay? So this could be like a church, this could be Walmart, any type of place you want to name it, but just make sure you label each of the five locations, okay? It needs to be five of them. All right, um, so this one is divide and check. So I know some of you guys are having a hard time with long division. So let's just go over one of the problems together. So you remember how I, I like to round the divisor <coughs> by the nearest 10. So 40, 38 rounded to nearest 10 would be 40, correct? And ask yourself, can 40 go into three? Nope. What about 37? Nope. What about 374? Yeah. So another step I haven't taught you guys yet is to also round this number too. So instead of thinking how many times can 40 go into 374, you can round this number also. So round it to 370. So think, of your, think to yourself, how many times can 40 go into 370? Well, I know that 40 times 9 gives me 360, right? Because 9 times 4 equals 36. Just add the 0 here. And 360 is pretty close to 370, correct? So, yeah, I'm gonna try to put nine in there to see if it works. So let's see, nine times 38. Okay, so I'm now multiplying nine times 40. It's, my, it's nine times 38. Let's see, nine times eight is 72. Nine times three is uh, 27 plus seven is 34, right? So 342 minus that, 2, 3. So 32 is lower than my divisor, 38. So I know that, I know that um, I'm good. So 9 is a good answer. So bring down the 2. Now I ask myself, how many times can 40 go into, not 322, but 320? Well, I know that, you know, 40 times 8 would give me 320, and that's really close to 322, right? So let's try eight. Eight times 38, running out of space here. Eight times 38 would give me 304. So 304 minus, so 322 minus 304. I need a bra for this, it goes to 12. 12 times four is eight, bring down the one. So 98, remainder 18. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, that's my answer right here. Okay, 
let's go to the next page. For this page, I'm just going to do the word problem here. So I know a lot of you guys have a hard time with word problems. So here's the first one. <clears throat> Victoria made seven gallons of punch. So you circle seven gallons. Okay. Remember to always circle the numbers that you see of punch for parents' holiday for parents' day at Lincoln Christian School. How many pints does she make? Underline the question. Alright. So if you remember remember that eight pints equals one gallon, okay? So you're trying to figure out how many pints she made. So if we know that she made seven gallons, how many pints is that? All right, so that's what you're trying to figure out. So what you think you need to do? Is it minus, add, multiply, or divide? All right, I'll, I'll let you guys figure that out. For B, Let's read this together. Gus took $25 to spend at the zoo. It cost $8.75 to get in, and Gus spent $14.50 what was, what was on rides and food. How much money did Gus bring at home? Bring home. So if he started with $25, and he spent $8.75, and he spent another $14.58, what do you think I need to do to figure out how much he, have, he has left? Okay, is it subtract, addition, multiplication, or division? All right, I'll let you figure that, figure that out. All right, so that's it for today's math lesson. Praying for you guys. Take care.